before I begin, I'd like to thank my main man above, God, because without him, we wouldn't be here today. He's the one that gives us all the strength we need every day. I want to thank all the friends, family members, mentors, coaches, and everyone that came to support all the graduating Eagles today. Another special shout out to Jamal Hoop Crawford, because without he's been a big brother to a lot of us that are graduating today, because he's the only one that wouldn't sugarcoat nothing, even when we need to hear it the most. But let's be honest, the way last year looked, who would have known that we were actually going to graduate with some sense of normality, let alone even in person? But there is one Bible verse that applies to all the hardships we've been through, face and overcome, which is Hebrews 12, 11, which says, no discipline seems pleasant at times, but painful. Later on, it produced a, har a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who've been trained by it. This verse alone shows that every single one of us has pushed past the challenge to better fruits and show why we're here today. Well, the time has come. Another close, another chapter, and a fresh new start. To think the time of graduation is already upon us. Many of us didn't think the years could fly by so quickly. Others counted every single second meticulously, between our first days as freshmen to our last days of our senior year. So many of us longed to be able to put on our cap and gown, to walk across the stage and grab our diplomas with the grandest smiles on our faces, with a sense of relief feeling that our four years of hard work has finally been summed up into one of the many milestones that no one can take from us. Within our senior year alone, there are many moments, many we have, many we have for the very last time, and hopefully wearing masks is one of them. To the last homecoming dance, to all the Friday Night Lights, which came from our sweet victories to bitter defeats. From the last times we get to sit in our favorite teachers and coaches' classroom, that it gives us a sense of relief, almost like a little moment of paradise to escape to from the troubles we're having every day. You know, it's crazy to think about the last, this is the last time you may see many of our graduating classes' faces. High school is filled with so many last moments, yet every single one of them is worth it because it provides memories that you'll never forget. Things as simple as singing a fight song whenever riding the bus back after a away game, or even going to the pet rally just so you can escape class. Some of the best moments include watching Coach Norman suit up in full gear and, and listen to him going up and down talking about he's going to run one of us over, but even though he's getting too old for it. Or even watching Coach Matt yell at Bryson, talking about he looks like a beach well <laughs> as we're rest doing wrestling conditioning. The truth of the matter is though, while we're reminiscing on the past and preparing for our future endeavors, or wondering why the speech is starting to sound longer by the second, our lives are filled with so many firsts just waiting for us. This is a chance to venture out into the world and create a name for ourselves. And the only person stopping it from happening is you. So let me give you a quote as we leave today by Langston Hughes, which says, Hold on to your dreams. For if dreams die, life is like a broken winged bird that does not fly. Don't let your dreams and aspirations be discouraged by all the doubts and fears you have in life. But instead, let them be your guide, the drive that will push you further in life, wherever it may take you. Congratulations. We did it.